What's your name and where are you from? My name is Julie Gribble and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Live just about everywhere, but Atlanta is my hometown. Why did you feel a need to move to Nashville? You know, I have lived in New York and London and Los Angeles and Atlanta, obviously, because I grew up there. But when I'd moved back to the East Coast um, from LA, I just, I always kind of wanted to check it out, you know, because it's got a great music scene and why not? And I honestly just packed up the car and moved up here. It wasn't any big, like, gotta move to Nashville thing. I don't know. It was just, I'm kind of a wanderer anyway. And uh, my parents are so close. I like living close to my family in Atlanta. So I just figured I'd try it out because it seemed like Nashville was on that movement to try and, I don't know, like you've got East Nashville. You've got a lot of different kinds of music now instead of just one kind. I mean, obviously that rains here, but... There's a lot of different avenues here, I think, than just the country, mm -hmm. which is cool to me. So, I figured I'd come check it out. When you left Atlanta, what did you leave behind? That, what did you sacrifice to, to come up here? Well, I sacrificed, um, I'm guessing, some security, you know? Like, you got your, I've got my family there, which is awesome, and I hadn't had my family there in a long time around me that close. Um, when I left Atlanta, I also... I don't know, I left a lot of friends and that security of having, you know, that person to go out with that night or, you know, coming up here really knowing no one. And just my music scene there, I was comfortable there, I was playing festivals all the time and, you know, coming up to a scene where I basically had to start all over. Because I think musicians don't realize, like, every time you move to another city, you have to start over. They don't know who you are unless you're uber famous already. You know, you're going to have to, like, prove to people that, you know, you're good at what you do and that you're professional and that you're not some crazy person, you know, stuff like that. I think you have to prove all over again. What was the first thing you did when you got to Nashville? What was the first thing I did? God. You know, well, the first, I think I played, like, a writer's night, and it's a non-existent place anymore, but it was Picks over by Music Row, if you remember this place. So, cool little spot, and, um... It was a friend of mine now named Ty Brando who was hosting it, and he was so nice to me, and I was like, oh, this is going to be great, you know, like, everyone was super cool, and I got lucky and had someone that had set up some meetings for me um, on Music Row, with some people just listening to songs and kind of getting my feet wet and in the door a little bit when I first moved here, so. Did you have an actual plan when you got here? I'm going to do this, this, and this? I had really a very weird plan when I got here. Like I was still touring all over the country and I knew that was never gonna change just because I moved here. Like I have to play. And writer's nights sometimes don't fulfill that need for me because I'm a performer. Like I like to do the show where I'm chatting and making jokes with people and playing with the audience and doing the one song, one song, one song is really hard after a while because you're never really getting I don't know, I guess an audience to really see your full vibe, you know? So, I think when I first got here, it was just like, lots of writer's nights and, you know? I don't know if that makes sense. It's just kind of like playing and the plan was to just kind of see if my music was, would make a bit of a mark here or this would be the spot for me to stay in and live in for the rest of my life. Well, did you find, when you got here, did you find what you expected to find? Or was it, like, totally different than what you expected? When I got here, I think that when I first got here, I think it was what I expected. In the sense that lots of cool musicians, met a lot of great people that were, you know, had the Southern hospitality, you know, and um, I was writing a lot with other people. And I think... When I first got here, I don't know, maybe a lot of artists do this, but I feel like I changed myself a little bit in a way that now I've changed back to who I am. Like, I just, I was trying to conform to a certain musicality that the music row people want these days, which doesn't mean there's anything wrong with that. It's just not what I do. And I think that I tried to change myself into something that is not me. And so for a little while, I think I wasn't happy because I was writing these songs that like, I, I don't know, I, I don't like to simplify lyrics, you know, and a lot of the writing points would be like, well, we have to simplify this. And we had some cool songs out of it, but I found that now I don't collaborate as much as I used to when I first moved here. 
because I feel like I didn't, I wasn't growing as an artist or a writer that way. Like, I feel like you do too many writing appointments, you actually lose steam. You have to do like quality, not quantity in the writing appointments and stuff. So I think that's what really changed me when I got here, which is a good thing. You, you learn, you know. Do you like co-writing? I do like co-writing. I think that I just, I'm very particular now, you know. I think you have to do that. You have to do, you know, say it's 50 writing appointments, you know, you might pick three out of those that you really think you vibe with. You get great songs you're proud of out of it. You know, I think any writer has to do that. Unless I guess you're getting paid a crap out of money a year to like, you know, write with 20 people a day. Besides Nashville being the mecca for music, is there anything else that you found in Nashville that's really interesting to you? Not in the music genre? Outside of music in Nashville, I think I've enjoyed the most maybe the, um, the no wildlife, like that sounds like I'm in the Amazon or something. More that there's a lot of hiking and outdoor stuff that I love. The only thing about it is sometimes we get a little bit of bad humidity, but this year's been amazing. But I think outside of that, there's there's some really cool cultural stuff that I think people miss out on here because they're just so stuck on the music and that's all I do. But it, there's so much else here than just music. There really is. It's just I go a lot outside of actual Nashville, you know, about 30 to 45 minutes outside. And there's some cool little festivals and small towns where it's super vibey, great little like cafes and stuff. There's a lot of good art scene too here. Lots of great galleries and so I like that stuff too. <laughs> what would you tell other songwriters who are thinking about moving to Nashville? You know, every time someone asks me about like, well, is it time for me to move to Nashville? Like, should I move to Nashville? You know, so many people, once you move here, they're always going to ask you about it. I say you should not move here unless you're ready for it. Because, you know, it is cutthroat. It is hard. If you're ready to challenge yourself and ready to fight for what you want and you're already kind of grounded in what you do and what you love, I think this is a great place to be because you can only grow from there. But I think it's, it's either you come here as fresh, wide-eyed, ready to learn anything or else be grounded in yourself and say, okay, this is what I want. This is where I want to go so that you're not steered on a path that's not going to make you happy. My next question <laughs> talks about, are you happy you moved here? Yeah. You moved from Atlanta up here. Are you, are you happy you moved up here? I'm happy I moved here. I'm always about experience in the journey. And I mean, this whole music thing has been such a great journey for me. Like I didn't start until about 10 years ago. So I'm kind of a later bloomer in the music scene. So I mean, I'm still growing and learning every single day, which is the best part about it. So Nashville for me has been another growth experience. You know, I leave a lot. I think I'm a different than a lot of the artists that come here. I still leave every week and I go tour. So for me, I love living in Nashville. Actually, like, I was laughing the other day going, mom, I have matching furniture now because it's a very affordable city to live in. I mean, it's great to tour out of. You've got a huge, nice radius to travel in a circle, you know, that's not costing you a lot in gas. So if you're a performer too, it's a great place to live. So I'm happy I moved here. Tell me about some of the successes you've had since you've been here. Since I've been here, my successes, I think my success is honestly more within myself than in something that anyone else would look at as success. Like, I feel like I've really grown as a person, but I think we always need to be doing that. But I feel a lot more relaxed within myself and my music now than I ever have been. I feel a lot more comfortable with my guitar playing and performing and maybe that's Nashville, maybe that's just me and my age. You just never know, but I'm going to attribute it to Nashville and give them a right on. <laughs> Tell me your impressions of the Nashville songwriters community and, and how important networking is for songwriters. Uh, networking here is probably the reason you are here in Nashville because I mean networking here is number one super easy and super hard. If you're out there being friendly and genuine like people can read you like a book here which I think is great about Nashville. Like if you're one of those crazy people who's going to push their way to the top and you know that kind of stuff you hear about and you know about 
if you're in the community at all. It's like if you can step outside of that and just be yourself and go out to, you know, whiskey jam and stuff like that and just talk to people, you're going to network so quick. I mean, that's what happened to me about the first six months. I think all you should do is every night you should be out at one of those bars watching live music, talking to other songwriters. That's how you find the musicians you want to use. It's an easy community here to know people and meet new people. Whether those people you're going to work with or be your friends is up to you. But like, I think here you really have to keep up with your contacts and your networking. It's a constant job. It's not just a fly by night. Oh, I got a bunch of business cards. I'm done. You've got to be very persistent here because there's about 20 line behind you. If you had to do this over, would you come to Nashville or would you have done one of the other big cities that you had lived in? Um, it's hard to say if I had done this over, like whether I would have moved here or stayed where I was. You know, there's certain parts about, I miss LA every day because I miss the beach. You know, I miss my organic farmer's market that was down the road with my pajamas on in the morning. You know, but there's, there's parts of that that I don't miss and then parts that I miss every day. So I think I probably would have done it over. I probably would have moved here sooner, maybe back five years ago, when maybe it would have been an, I don't know, a different road into Nashville. I don't know if that makes sense. I, Cause I moved to Atlanta first when I came from Atlanta. So if I had gone back in time, I probably would have moved here straight from LA to Nashville instead of taking the detour to Atlanta, if that makes sense. So, to be around your family. No more detours. <laughs> What's the best thing about being a songwriter in Nashville? Um, I think the best thing about being a songwriter in Nashville is that you have a huge support network. I mean, I've been very blessed and met like awesome people that are hugely supportive and not competitive with me. They really genuinely want you to be happy and thrive in this community. I'm not going to say that this is not like every other city where there's a lot of really not so nice people that are very competitive and want to, you know, joust you in the back to get their way in. It's just any city is going to be like that. But I think that the community here, you know, you're going to find your blessings and stick with them. And I've been lucky with that. Great people that I've met here. So I think it's a good community. You, you, you know, it's like anything you do in your life, it is what you make it. You know, so. That's true. Um, if you were talking to a 15-year-old songwriter mm -hmm. watching this video, what could you tell those people or tell that songwriter to do before they try to make a move to Nashville? If you're really young and you're a teenager and you're moving to Nashville or thinking about moving here, I would say really, you know, sit down with someone who's been doing it for a while and really kind of maybe outline what your goals are. Six months, year, five years. Outline what kind of music, like which genre exactly what you want to kind of focus on. <clears throat> maybe research other songwriters that do that kind of music that are, you know, this level, then mid-level, then high up. Make your goals, like super make your goals and have your support network that's gonna be there for you when you move here because it's hard, especially in the teenage years, you know, cause you're just really tr finding yourself at that point. So I think it's talking to someone that's been around for a while, that's not jaded, you know, that's still really happy and growing and learning in their career and just kind of focusing yourself in what you want so that you're not spinning your wheels, I guess is what we always say. <laughs> Is there anything that y you have in your head about songwriting that you think should be said to people who want to be songwriters? Is yes. there a, a philosophy? <laughs> I have a very different philosophy, I think, on songwriting that I think sometimes does not make me a favorite in Nashville. That I think songwriting should not be about the money, it should be about the song. And if you're not, if it's not coming from your heart, then it's not worth making. Like that's the way I believe in it. It doesn't mean it's right. It just means that when I write a song, it's because I have to get something out of my soul and my heart, you know, that needs to be shared. Sometimes maybe it doesn't need to be shared, but to me it needs to be shared. So it's like, 
with songwriting, I mean, the, if you look at the best songs in history, the best songs are the ones that were a story that was real and written because it had to get out there. Because there was nothing else you could do but write that song. So that's my philosophy on songwriting. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Julie. Thank you for having me. You can, uh, yeah, I'm glad you came. Absolutely. You have a very yeah. unique perspective on everything. I met that, when I first met you. I noticed that you're you're a California girl that is hanging out in Nashville, which yeah. is kind of cool because most know, of them don't can't. do that. You know, it's just been. So, I will admit that this city has been very hard on me, in that sense. You know, I don't know. It's a it's a strange it's a strange beast here. Well, tell me what's what feeling do you get in Nashville that you wished you had, I mean, that you had in Los Angeles that you can't reclaim here? I feel like I was more supported there, honestly. Because this is a songwriter town, not a performer town. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is, mm -hmm. which is fine, and I think it's great. I mean, all these people are, like, just pumping out songs. Like, it's a factory. That's just not my style. You know, like, I miss... I don't feel like there's as many places where I can go, like, take Lower Broadway. When do you ever hear original music down there? Never. That's great, but it's like, you know, the music culture, if you push this song at them, out of the public, and say this is good, they're gonna think it's good. That's the way the business works. So why don't you push original songs out there that are great, and have heart and the person on stage is like just killing it and like you know talking the audience you know telling who they are and you know what I mean and I just feel like that's really lacking here and that's sad to me because there's so many great performers here they never get any clout because they're not singing you know another Jason Aldean song there's nothing wrong with him either it's just that that's you know you can go from bar to bar and hear the exact same song within an hour like, take from Tootsie's all the way down to the end of the block. If you just walk in and out of those bars, you can hear the same song back and forth. That's so sad to me. <laughs> like, there's so many great songs. And all these people who are singing those songs are writing amazing tunes that no one will ever hear. It's all about money, baby. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> On my natural ear, songwriter stage, I had, I don't, all we would let them do was original songs. Uh huh. And I have heard some fantastic original songs yeah. from some of the people. They're never going to go anywhere. Mm -mm. And that's why people are like, oh, well, you never, you're not in Nashville enough to really get anywhere here. And I was like, who told you I was trying to get somewhere here? I was like, I need to perform. That's what makes me happy. It's not about making a thousand dollars on a song because someone cut it. I don't care. <laughs> it's not my dream. Like, I think that that's, like, that's the main dream here is to get your song cut by another artist. But that's not my dream. And I get a lot of, like, backlash about that. Like, I'll go to a meeting and I was like, uh, this meeting wasn't about you pitching me songs. It was about me pitching you myself. <laughs> like, but they'll spend hours pitching me, like, 50 songs. I'm like, I don't want any songs. Because <laughs> it's just not what I do, you know? Like, I don't know. I go on the road and I make most of my living doing shows and selling CDs and having a blast. It's so much fun. The whole idea is to have fun. Exactly, man. Yes. Look at some of these theater. artists. I've played with artists here on stage and I'm like, dude, are you miserable? Because I'm having a blast, man. It's like we're on stage, dude. This is awesome. Like, come on. You could be in an office right now and you're not. Exactly, right? Can you see me? I'd be like, oh, so miserable. <laughs> There's no way. So I don't know. It's it's a hard town. You just gonna kind of take it and go. It's cool. I live here because it's easy and it's cheap, and you can see great music if you just know where to go. You know. Well, thanks for coming in, Julie. Thank you. I think we got.